Hi everyone and welcome back to Kochi TV. In this video we're going to do a breakdown of Brianna Rivers in the 800 meters as she uh, finished second in our state meet. Um, we just did a race breakdown also of Brianna from her regional championship performance. If you missed that video I recommend watching that one also. It's in the description down below. I'm Kyla Giacono. I'm the head boys cross country and track coach at Wharton High School in Tampa, Florida and I have been for the last six years. If you want a closer look at my credentials they are on the screen. So the 800, just look a little bit at the metrics before we look at this race itself. So this race, so many things can happen in an 800 meters. It's that break point between sprinting and distance racing. So there's not one true predictor of who's going to win the 800 meters. So the only way you can really have the best predictor of who's going to win it is who has the best combination of their fastest aerobic pace, which is VO2 max, over somebody's running economy, which is more of your overall aerobic development. And 94.1% of the time, the person that can master both of those things is going to win the, the 800. But also, you obviously need to, to account for top-end speed, like 400-meter speed, and um, that's something that's just not really easily measured in a metric like this. But for the most part, if you can master those two aerobic metrics, you're going to win the 800 meters. Now, looking at the VO2 max of what this race is run at, you'll see a huge... Um, a huge range here from 120% of someone's VO2 max to 136. This would be like a miler or two miler moving down. They're running closer to the two mile pace in the 800. And this would be a 400 meter runner moving up because they're running much faster than their two mile pace would be because their overall aerobic development just isn't as much. And it's such a big range because, as I mentioned, there's just so many different people that run the 800. It's that, that split point. So you have a lot of sprinters trying to move up, and you have a lot of distance people trying to move down. Brianna is probably somewhere right in the middle. She's a classic 800-meter kid, um, probably at like 125 to 130% of her VO2 max. And we'll look at her specifically here in a second. In terms of the energy supply, 10% of the energy in the 800 is going to come from the ATP that's already sitting in your muscles and then the phosphocretin system. 30% is going to come from the longer speed system, your anaerobic glycolytic system. But still the lion's share of the energy is going to come from the aerobic system, just like any distance or middle distance race. That's what sort of defines them. Is 60% of the energy in this case is going to come from that energy system. So Brianna entering this race. She's the number two seed in this, this meet based on regional times, but if you really look at season best times, she was the number four seed. Two of the kids who actually had season best times are in our own region, and if you missed our video where we broke down her regional championship where she held off those two young ladies, it's in the description down below. It's really an interesting look at um, a close victory. I would really recommend taking a look at that video also. So the week before at regionals, she ran 213.81, and she won by one thousandth of a second. Um, and actually, the young lady that she just barely beat in that race is going to play out really importantly in this, this race breakdown, too, and I'll point her out when we get there. Her 800 PR to this point is 211.64, and that was from late March at the UF Relays. This is the first weekend in May that this race itself is going to be um, contested. As I mentioned, Brianna is a type 1 800 meter runner. She's very fast. She has great lactic tolerance, but her weakness, if she had one, was more her overall aerobic development, and we're always trying to play those two things. How can we make her stronger aerobically, more economical, without hurting her speed? Um, and obviously, we're doing a lot of work to continuing to keep that speed a, a really good strength for her, but obviously, she's very fast, and we'll look at her PRs here in a second. Brianna was also scheduled to run the mile and the 4x4 the following day, but she's running this 800 meters fresh. Her other PRs to this point, 400 is 56.91, her mile is 504.8, and again with a 211.64 800, you'll see she's very, very fast. Cross country, she actually got a scholarship to also run cross country, but as you can see, she's much more at home at those shorter races. Her 5K cross country is 1939. So let's look at the race itself. So Brianna is right here in the middle. Um, the other really, really strong runners in this race is this is Bailey Hertenstein from, at this point, she's at Riverview High School. She's going to be the one she barely beat the week before and is going to play in really big in this race. 
This right here is Canaria Gatson, who is also has a better overall time from the season, and those are the two girls from the region. And then this is Kayla Johnson from Miami Southridge, who has the best overall time. She had run 207 this season. Um, and and uh, Canaria was running at Steinbrenner at this point. She's since transferred to our school, and actually Bailey has since transferred, and actually she's graduated. She's at Indiana at this point. So let's take a look at the race itself. Very, very fast start. If you watched our video from regionals, we said that Brianna likes to establish herself up front as a, as a type 1 800 meter runner. And you'll see there are a ton of fast runners in this thing. Brianna is not at the front of the pack like she normally is because there's so many fast people. And you'll see how things are separating. These kids at the back of the pack are probably more type 2 that are more comfortable in the longer races. Now, Brianna is in this mess of people right here. So she's in like maybe fifth or sixth place. And she's all the way out in like lane two. I'm actually watching it from this general side. So I remember her being way, way outside at this point because there are so many people. And that's important as we get to this 200 is she's going to need to manage her position so she's not running more distance needlessly. Here are the three girls from the same region that I pointed out before. And then this is Kayla Johnson who had the number one overall seed time. As we get to this fourth hundred, Brianna's going to stay outside and try and make a move on some of these kids that maybe went out a little bit too fast or just don't have the strength to hold on. And Bailey is going to actually also make a move on the outside, and I'm really happy that she also did because Brianna decided to go with her. Right here, they're right next to each other. Bailey starts to make a move, and Bree just sort of slides with her. And they kind of clear all of this to where then they can slide on the inside and start to move on. Kayla Johnson, who is way out front at this point, probably about 30 meters. She's the fastest overall kid in this race. And let's see this last lap play out. So Bailey starts to move here from 350. Bree probably waits a little bit until more like 300. And then Brianna really locks in. And we'll see at this point, these are the four kids, as I mentioned, that are the top kids in this race. You've got Kayla Johnson, you've got Bailey Hertenstein, you've got Brianna Rivers, and you've got Canaria Gadsden that have separated from this field. And when Brianna locks in here, she really just turns on the Jets from 300 and does not hold back. You see she starts to move, starts to move. Bailey's also moving quite a bit, and you can see Kayla Johnson used a lot of her gas at the beginning of this race because she's such a fast type 1 runner. Bailey and Bree being a little bit stronger, Bailey being much, much stronger, she's a three-time state cross-country championship, have a lot to go in this tank, and we'll see how this last 150 plays out. Brianna kicks to the outside and tries to get an outside position on Kayla Johnson. All three attacking down the last about 50. Comes down to a dead foot race. And Kayla Johnson just edges out Brianna at the line by an eighth of a second. And we'll take a look at the, uh, the overall race breakdown here in one second. All right. So let's look at the race itself, the race breakdown. Lots of type 1 runners were in this race, so Brie really couldn't establish herself up front the way she normally does and slide inside. So she was out in lane 2 on the 200, tightly packed race. Had to use a lot more energy than maybe Kayla Johnson, who went way, way out and cleared the, the whole mess and got to move inside. So she had to do a little bit more work at that point because there were so many type 1 fast runners. She stayed outside on the fourth 100, which was really key because it allowed her to really pass up a lot of those kids that were starting to slow up as the first lap and really moved with Bailey as they both started to pass people. Kayla Johnson from Miami Southridge is way out in front. She split 61 on the first lap and was ahead by about maybe 25, 30 meters on the field. Final 300, Brianna just fully locked in as you saw and attacked and used her, her combination of strength and speed. And very, very nearly had enough to overcome Kayla Johnson on the last 100. As I mentioned, it was 0.12 of a second, which is about an eighth of a second um, that separated these two young ladies. The overall race breakdown, Brianna ran 210.51 for second place. 
Her first 200 was in 29 seconds, which was her fastest of the race. First lap in 63 and second lap in 67, which is exactly the way you'd want to run an 800. Very close splits here, um, but you're not going to reverse split an 800 if you're really doing it um, at, at, to your full uh, capabilities just because of the way the race is. So fantastic um, state, uh, state meet here. A lot of great, great runners, as you saw. Um, from how tight it was here at the end, um, and uh, you know, I've got a couple more races here from Brianna that I'll be uh, I'll be showing here in the next little bit. If you missed our video of her her race breakdown from her regional championship, check it out in the description down below. If you like this uh, video, please think about liking or subscribing to the channel. If you have any comments or questions, please please ask them in the uh, the comments down below. And until next time, this has been Coachy TV.